What do you remember from when, back in the day, you wanted to be a professional bull rider and the injuries you got? <laughs> oh, yeah. So anything I was interested in doing, my dad would be, my dad was there to help me with. As long as I showed effort, my dad would get involved with me on it. Like I wanted to, have a, I wanted to open a bike store. So I went and collected all the old bike parts I could find and started building these really horrible bikes. But um, so anything I wanted to be, so I wanted to be, I would ride the mechanical bull at the fair. That was my favorite thing to do is ride the fair because I had a little business selling pretzels. Mm -hmm. Right next to the pretzel booth was the mechanical bull. So every time I had a chance, the mechanical bull wasn't working, I'd give the guy that ran the bull a pretzel and he'd let me ride. I wasn't a very big kid. I didn't grow until I was sophomore, junior, high, about sophomore in high school. So I would stick on the bull. I mean, just stick. Couldn't throw me. So that's like, I love rodeo. I wanted to be a jockey. I was too big to be a jockey. But I worked at the racetrack and rode horses a bunch and did a little team rope and a little calf rope. But I was kind of a multi pro. I did everything. I mean, I was just, a, I lived in a town where you could do everything. So I told my dad I wanted to, the rodeo was coming and I wanted to ride a bull. And he says, that's fine. So I had to go out to the, he says, you got to prove you can. You can't just say that a mechanical thing's going to work. So I go out to a friend's ranch, get on the bull. <laughs> One, two, three, knocked off. I mean, it wasn't working. So an old timer came up and said, you gotta change your hands. And you gotta lean back. And here we go. So I come out of this half made shoot, riding this young little like year and a half, two year old Brahma, I mean, tiny thing. Still didn't really have, hadn't filled out. So I'm riding the backbone and uh, like nylon cord. And I'm riding it, I'm making it. And all of a sudden, one of these Australian sheep herder dogs jumps off the back of a truck and comes running out after that bull and bites that bull in the nose. And that bull just goes bananas because it's it scared the bull. Right. I mean, it's not like the bull was fighting it. So the bull skit, you know, and it cuts to the right as I'm going to the left, and I'm up in the air, and I can just look over and I just see the bull kind of jump, and I just watch my arm go, and I knew I broke my wrist. And I'm as I'm falling, the bull kicks me right in the side of the head. And as I fall forward, I land right on my face, right into a rock and split my lip open. And as I'm laying there, the dog's so excited, it runs over and bites me. And you're how old? 12, maybe 13. And what happened? <laughs> what happened? I broke my arm. Oh, so the whole thing that ends up happening is I can't tell my parents this has happened. Okay. My arm is killing me. So, well, I, I didn't tell you this part. It was five miles from my home to go ride the bull. And I didn't want to ride my BMX bike. So with my bull riding boots on and my big cowboy hat, I rode my mom's Schwinn bike with the wicker basket. <laughs> okay, looks like the one you'd see in Wizard of Oz. So I get out there, well, my arm's killing me. So I go let the air out of the tires and I call my dad and I say, Daddy, you gotta come pick me up. I think I ran over some nails or something. My, the tires are flat. So he picks me up, he doesn't. My dad always could read through my bull. I mean, it was like, I don't even know why he would let me tell it, but he would t let me do it so that at the end around, he could come back around to teach me the lesson. He was the greatest, I mean, my hero, my Obi-Wan Kenobi. So I'm complaining about my arm. So we go out to our lake, our cabin at the lake, and I'm digging this fire pit. And so I'm half-ass swinging that, the pickaxe, and he's yelling at me, you know, you're going to sit there and complain about this arm, and then you're going to want to water ski later today. And I, you know, I didn't water ski or anything. My arms kill me, but I can't talk about it. So the next, finally we go back into town and it's Monday morning and I'm just complaining about my arm. My mom's like, Jesus, go see Doc Weiser. All right, enough. So Doc Weiser was our town doc. That's how small this town is. There's no stoplight. There's one cop car. There's, you know, so I walk in to see Doc Weiser and he goes, he grabs my arm and he goes right there. I'm like, oh yeah. And he goes, this guy, your, arm, your wrist's broken. He goes, come in here for a second. <laughs> comes in, sits me down, plasters up my arm. Doesn't call my parents. Doesn't, there's no x-rays. Doesn't take an x-ray. Plasters up my arm. Says, okay, you can go. So I walk back over to this, right directly across the street to Dave Saddlery. And I have my arm behind my back. I'm like, so dad, anything you want me to do? Maybe go split some wood or maybe, you know, go dig some fence, some post holes or something like that with my broken arm. And my mom's like, Damn it, I told you don't let him go ride those bulls. That's a stupid, no, 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 no. That was it. Your parents are backpacking in Europe uh, and uh, you get injured a, a, a little more. Mm -hmm. when, I've broken when everything, right. by the way. I mean, I have broken so many, not, I've injured and torn things apart, yeah. You have a big scar from From that, here right? to here. What, what happened? 
I know you want to see it, but I'm not showing you. We can, maybe, um, maybe later. Maybe later. Uh, so I'm, we had horses. We had a few, a few horses. And I was getting ready for a horse show. And I had this um, half-quarter horse, half Clydesdale named uh, Rebel. Ironically enough, I went to UNLV and I'm a rebel. So um, my dad's business partner, who kind of helped train me on horses a little bit, comes over and all I'm doing is running my horse fast across one across the, across the field, the other way across the field. There were some girls on one side of the fence and I was running back. And he goes, you can't, you got this show coming up and you got to get that horse, you got to get your form right and start galloping and so forth. And he's, get in a circle, go, you know. So I'm kind of going in a circle and the horse trips and it trips and I've, he trips and he goes and he's falling and I think he goes down and I fall off and I roll over the shoulder and fall and his next step is on on me and uh, I can kind of remember that and I remember their business partner Dave Klaus he's walking with his cane dragging me through this field and I just remember being drugged going this you know something's wrong so he gets me into the truck and he drives me to the hospital and I remember him saying you know, stay with me guy talk to me talk to me talk to me so I was bleeding out inside and they didn't know why, but they couldn't go and check because nobody had permission. They had left a, a you know, whatever you call it, a uh, guardianship papers, but nothing for this degree. So they had to ship me to another hospital where they had to get a court order to do exploratory surgery. Well, back then my parents only called once a week. They were gone for 10 weeks. Right. So they called once well a week. Well before cell phones. Yeah. And it was the you know line underneath the ocean, mom, Hello? You know, you had to wait. And so I had been in surgery, out of surgery, and was in recovery for like four days before they found out. And they were losing it. You know, my mom's like, I'm coming home. And I'm like, don't come home. I'm fine. You know, it's not like I'm a, you know. Next day they go take the stitches out. For some reason stitches didn't take. It was serious. I mean, you're almost, uh, downplaying the severity. Of oh, it, no, right? it was yeah. serious. You know, yeah. It was really serious. It, what had happened is it, the, the, the impact had torn the ligament that held, holds my liver. So it ripped the ligament off my liver. So my liver was bleeding. And some, I had a little thing to my heart too, but. What was the recovery process? Oh, God. I was in the hospital for like two weeks. And, you know, I'd run around with big old scarred on my stomach and it's in my abdomen area so there's no real heavy movement or anything because you got so many layers inside of your abdomen it was weird 